Hey you guys, so today is Monday and I'm about to get ready and take pictures and do a reels for Instagram and because I haven't like posted on my Instagram in like two weeks so I wanna like be consistent and post on there and that's what I'm about to do. So today is Sunday and I want to share with you guys and talk about journaling and how I can be helpful and encouraging and how it can help you in your life and stuff and how it helped me in like two years in like the past two years and I want to give you guys a story time about something that happened recently so if you don't want to hear about journaling you can skip to the next chapter I will have the chapters in the description and in the comment so these are my journals and like I got four of them already this one was in this one was from 2019 to um, December 2020 and this one was from February to July 2020, 2021 and then this one was from July 
July 2021 to September and this one I'm currently like still writing in this one is like brand new so the reason why I write in journals is to like to like document my life and talk about the things that I go through and like say how I'm feeling and what I be thinking about so that's why I call it my thoughts and my feelings and if you ever like want to start journaling you can journal about anything it can be about the happy memories the, the good memories the bad memories or like it could just be like a plain old diary and it could be about anything but for me it's just my thoughts and my feelings and that's what all of these journals is about your journal can be about anything i don't consider these journals a diary because i don't really have any secrets or anything so it's just like a journal and these like if something was to happen to these journals i would get like really depressed because it's memories in here and like when i get older i want somebody that's close to me to read these journals if i was to die or something or like they could like read these journals so they can get like a like say they can see what my life was about and what i've been through so that's why i like writing about journals because it's like documenting your life and it's like a story to tell or something but this journal i got from five below and it was like five dollars and this one i got from family dollar it was like three dollars and this one i got from amazon and it was like ten dollars and it's a pretty nice journal and i like the material of it and this journal I got from Family Dollar and it was like three dollars or five dollars I think. Being in journals can be like really helpful because if you don't have any friends or if you feel like you're alone or something or if you feel like nobody listen to you or pay you any attention then you can just like write about your journal like write it in your journal and write about what you've been through that day or something or if you need to get something off your chest you can write it in a journal and like tell your story i write in my journals like i'm talking to someone or like i'm telling a story or basically like i write like i'm talking to someone because at times i don't really have anyone to talk to so i just write in like whatever i'm going through if i'm having a bad day or i have something on my mind i will write in the write in my journal or write it in my journal so it can really be helpful and if you like really mad about something or you like there's something that you need to get off your chest or if you're having a good day you could write it in your journal and if you like having a bad day and you can write about it and it'll like it'll give you that same feeling as if you were talking to somebody and telling them what you go through it'll like make you feel better so now on to the story time this is something this is a story time about something that's been bothering me for like the past couple of years ever since like i was little in middle school and stuff so a couple days ago i was um walking to the store and i was walking like up the street and some kids were like walking down the street and this little boy that was with them like he i was like like when i walked by him he like stared at me or whatever and i don't know why but 
I had a mask on, so like I don't understand like what was the point of even looking at me or whatever. But I just like try to ignore it and like think positive and try not to think negative because usually I would like think negative because of the way that I look and because of the fact that I have albinism it's like common that people will stare at people like me so I just kept walking to the store and like try to think positive and stuff but when I got home I like kind of got anxiety because I don't like people staring at me and it can be like really uncomfortable and I kind of took it seriously like I know sometimes a stare can be positive and sometimes negative depending on like the way they looking at you but I took it like kind of negative because like I said before I have albinism and it's common that people stare at people like me but I still have like self love issues and insecurities and stuff and I'm still like working on loving myself so I guess that's why I took it serious but it kind of made me question like why do I have to be the one that's like this? Why can't I be normal? And why can't I be like everybody else? And why did it have to be me? But I started to like text my friends and stuff and to tell them what happened and stuff. And it's like a group on Facebook. It's called the open its own community and it's like a group and you can like write posts in there and ask people questions and my question was like asking everybody if they feel less than a person when people still when people stare at them and some of them said no because they got confidence and they learned to love themselves and like other stuff and like majority of them said that and most people was like yes and it made me feel like I was the only one but I just don't like when people stare it like makes me uncomfortable and stuff and I get like anxiety and real nervous and stuff and I'm still nervous to this day and that's why i can't do certain videos that i want to do because i'll be nervous but i'm still working on myself and stuff but i just wanted to talk about that because it's like an issue that i've been dealing with and if you ever come across a person with with albinism just like be like careful and care for their feelings because you don't know if like they having a bad day or like issues with themselves so just try to be gentle and like kind and stuff but let me know if you guys if you made it this far to the end of the video let me know if you guys want me to do more story times and talk about like what it's like to live with albinism and i'm probably gonna do it anyway but i don't know but i think i'm gonna end the vlog right here because i have nothing else planned and, and stuff so i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on my social media and i will see you guys in my next video